The University of the Gambia has reopened for the first semester of the 2020 to 2021 academic year with lectures beginning online. This is because the coronavirus pandemic has so far made it impossible to hold face-to-face -face lectures in various campuses of the university. Fatma Takasim has more. Some of the general and divisional requirement courses at the University of the Gambia had more than 100 students at any given time. Holding lectures under such overcrowded classroom is no longer visible because it is impossible for students and lecturers to physically distance. As a result, lectures for the first month are being held completely online, but this will not come without challenges. According to Professor Gomez, the Deputy Vice Chancellor of the University of the Gambia said the UTG has put in mechanism to facilitate the smooth running of the online classes by providing internet bundles to registered students. Uh, it is uh, going to be a hybrid uh, online system compared to last semester. Uh, we are going to run uh, more than uh, uh, 800 to thousands of courses to some extent uh, this semester. And uh, we intend to go up to spend at least one month. After one month, we're going to recall some course, uh, courses, uh, some lecturers uh, and students to come and continue uh, through face-to-face, -face, that is on campus. But these are going to be the mm -hmm. courses that need practicals and uh, so that they will do their practicals uh, uh, you know, on campus. Okay? And then uh, you know, the venue would have been identified because by that time, we would have known the exact number of registered students. And then from there now, we take it up. After spending almost $5.4 million the last semester on online lectures, several students faced challenges with internet connection, a lack of access to academic materials such as laptop and other gadgets, and late registration. Isa Conte, a final year student at the university, said the duration of the online classes ended a month before they could complete their final course last semester and as a result an extra session is needed which the school is reluctant to provide a data bundles for facing challenges since day one up to date because looking at it i finished last semester and one of my courses i supposed to do exams during this semester but we have a one month session before we go in for the exams and as a student right now i'm not officially registered to be part of this semester so how can i get my data back because it was not my fault that the, um, uh, the syllabus were not completed and obviously it's going to affect me unless and until i buy data for myself or let them give me a free access to have classes they can like deny me for the data but let them just activate my q cell number so that i can have free access to the gizuts Enrolling without having an idea of the online classes, Momodo Khan, a freshman, hopes that the online classes goes well since this is his first time having to attend such. I'm never used to it. This is the first time I'm attending online classes, so I'm just hoping it will go fine as time goes on, so we'll be able to cope with the situation as things are going. But we had a lot of complaints from our colleagues that have already gone through it because of this, due to some circumstances and conditions affecting them, like the pandemic as well. Because of due to the pandemic, that's why they have to go for online classes. So we are not having interaction with the lecturers, so it has to be on online classes. And the situation, yeah, I don't know how it works, so I'm just ambitious to know how, what things will be. So I'm waiting to see. Uh. More than 600 students attended the last semester alternative sessions online. However, the less privileged students who could not settle tuition fees we are left with no option than to defer. The University of the Gambia provided unlimited internet bundles to its registered students only. Fatma Takasim reporting for iAfrica TV. Students at the University of the Gambia have started their virtual learning sessions today. 